Rock Town's Finest, it's your host, Doc, and we have Lauren Laduce. What's going on, Lauren? G glad to be here. Glad to be here. I want to just give you the award. I think you've been the one who's pronounced my name the best, I think, out of all the appearances I'm doing for my Everything book. I do, I try to do the best, you know? I think you got it. I think because you understand music so well, I think you got the musicality of it. A lot of people are like, Lo Ju Du Che. You're just yeah. like Lo Ju Du Che. Actually, when I when I wrote your name down, I wrote it in syllables. Uh, <laughs> <that's smart>. <laughs> you have to work smarter, not harder. That's correct. Oh my god. And <laughs> hey, let's tell people about you. What's what who is Lauren? Uh, I am a comedian who does a lot of characters. And one of my characters is Melania Trump, which is a very timely and relevant thing right now. If you're listening to this in the future, I hope it's irrelevant. Uh, we'll see what happens in November. But I mean, come on, I mean, they're not going away. So there'll always be someone in the public eye. So um, yes, I do, I, I do, I have a book called Inside Melania, what I know about Melania Trump by impersonating her. Okay. and have been doing online video for the last few years. And I do actually stand up comedy in character as Melania. Oh, wow. Um, wow. So, yeah. so you really get into this. So I can imagine like when you do the impersonation, you do a lot of research. How do you do your research? Great question. I am. Um, so I'll, I get really into the, the research. And so I look at books that are written about someone and there's a lot of like vanity books out there, where it just seems like someone is just kind of giving over a glossed off, gloss okay. off, and view of someone. So I try to get the real ones. And I found one by a Slovenian journalist named Bojan Pozar, who's actually a big fan of the book and wrote a review for it. Okay. Um, thinks it's really good. So um, um, what I did is I read his book, contacted him, was able to ask him some questions. Um, so I go, try to go to the sources that people, so if I'm reading something and they mention like, like there's a great GQ article, um, about Melania before they started paying everyone off to not tell the truth anymore. Uh, so I went, like I heard it mentioned, and then I went and read the source. So that's one way. The other thing is when I start doing these projects, people start telling me things. So I start hearing gossip on the street. And I heard a lot of stuff about Melania and the Trumps because I'm from New York and my partner is also in real estate. So I got a lot of like leaking on the ground stuff as I started doing okay. her. Okay. Okay. So what, what, what's the deepest thing you can tell me about her? Um, well, there's a lot of things about her that she sues people for saying, and it's kind of like really curious why, and you just have to like, um, kind of question what she was really doing. Now for me as a comedian, it's just really fun when people deny stuff or hide stuff, because then you can make jokes about it. Okay. So. What about the suing? Do you ever, you know, get think of that, uh, maybe I shouldn't say this, or maybe I shouldn't do this? Well, I'm a satirist, so everything I say is like, I, I'm in jest. So you can't really sue someone for making a joke yet. <laughs> Trust me, they would <laughs> love it if that was the case. I mean, Donald has so many worse things said about him every single day. Yeah. And I think they have their hands full with like John Bolton and everyone else. So um, I think I'm the least of their worries, um, but if they could throw all the comedians who've made fools of them in jail, they would. <laughs> Yeah. And if it wins in November, he will try. So okay. <laughs> so I can't wait to hear some impersonation, you know? So we're going to take a quick music break and we're going to come back and uh, we're going to see what you can do. Thank you. I'm All right. Going. We'll be right back. Rock Town's Finest. We are going for our goals. And so what we do is we state our goals and then we talk about how we're going to accomplish them. It's your boy Doc again. We have Lauren the judice and i didn't have to look that time awesome. <laughs> comedian impersonator and great talent right here you know so make sure you look out for her and right now she's going to do some impersonations i guess i'm about to interview melania trump or something that, that's yeah, okay so so word about this so i didn't come like usually when i do her i have you know the wig and the full makeup and the outfits and the boobs and the whole thing so oh. just um no i do actually do look like her when i do all of that and that's you can find that at um, Lauren Logi L O G I dot com. All right, okay, so I'm just looking. I think, yeah, I think you can look like her. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this is like. Let's here we go. So that's there we go. That's oh, me wow. as her. And my wow. publisher actually said when I sent the picture for the book, I was like, I think I want to use this picture for the cover. And he was like, Lauren, we can't use pictures of Melania. I said, No, that's that's me. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> it's the look behind the eyes, that misery, that like special mix of misery. Okay. So anyway, I will do Melania now. I do Melania. I get in the character all right away. All right. So you have questions for me? Yes, I, I yes. Please hurry up. I have to go to, I have my busy schedule looking at the window. 
Okay, okay. So I'll try to rush. I'll try to rush. So how do you like living in the White House? Oh, oh, it is such a dump, Andre. You have no idea. No. They have the same vacuum since Hoover. <laughs> well, and I've I'm been there so... and I, see, I saw outside of it. It looks kind of bad outside the White House. Oh, what a dump. You know, and I'm so afraid that Donald is the third president to be impeached. He's going to be second to get stuck in the bathtub. <laughs> I hope you're not going to put him there. Oh, well, wouldn't it be great, right? <laughs> Some hours of peace alone. Everyone says, what do you do with Donald? I say, yes. How do you handle Donald? I say, give him extra bacon. That's what I do, huh? Correct? <laughs> Girl can dream. Well, that's, that's probably where the color comes from. Oh, that's interesting. From all the extra bacon I put on his thing. No, actually, I have, to, I have unfortunate news for you, Andre, is that Donald's spray tanner got COVID. And, oh. and now I have to hold the fire hose. Oh, and wow. I have not seen him naked since he pried me out of my crate on Jeffrey Epstein's island. Oh, wow. Do you want to see him naked? Oh, it's been, it's been great. You know, I thought of wearing glasses because I found that the good excuse, you can direct them towards the light and then it, it, people cannot see when you close your eyes. So I just kind of... <laughs> okay, Melania, uh, how was your relationship with him, with Donald? Well, it was great before the White House. It was perfect. We saw each other a few times a month and then the contractable <laughs> sexy time. That worked for me. And now all of these demands in the White House, of course, put stress on relationship, which I find... Did did it kind of end your life? I mean, you're in the public eye now, you're in the wild. You can't, no privacy. Oh, it's absolutely terrible. And now I have to do Be Best campaign. Uh, it's so difficult. Several times a month, I have to take pictures with poor children. It's, it's very traumatic for me. <laughs> well, are, are you asking for donations while you're doing it? Well, you can do go to the insidemelania.com and you can see this book that the Inside Melania, a very terrible person named Lauren Lojudice wrote this book. I, I want to organize, Andre, a book burning for, for all the books that basically say true funny things. I think it's very awful, a bad trend. Oh, I kind of like Lauren, though. <gasps> you like Lauren? Oh, yes. well, okay. Maybe we could go. I tried to call cops on her. I said, said police department, arrest her, please. She say funny things that are true. Ooh, I hate her. <laughs> Melania Trump, I never thought I'd get to interview the first lady. This is like a first right here. Oh, first. I've heard that from clients before. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it's not your first, though. Oh, I just... It, Sorry, the White House bleeped. They, they might be on to us. What did you say? I, I, I'm saying I, I don't think this is your first, is it? Oh, no, it's not my first. Although maybe I say <laughs> I, it is. I, I heard it through the grapevine. I get paid more to say it is, but okay. <laughs> Melania Trump right here on Rock Town's Finest, and we got the funk. We're going to get in some music, and we'll be right back with some more Lauren LaJudice. <laughs> So, we will have no problem using resources for your needs. Great. Why don't we, you could do military exercises. Mm -hmm. Military exercises. We can put you up to West Point and you can do the runs. Oh, that sounds intense. I don't know about that. We might get some help from the Russians, too. Oh. They're willing to step Russian. right up. Yes, they are. Oh. They like to help. They would like to help. They get meddlesome so mm -hmm. much they're meddlesome. helping. Yeah. We're back again. It's your host, Doc, and we have Lauren LaJudice. I can say this over and over. You are an expert now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at it. Okay, so uh, what's coming up next from Lauren? Well, I mean, um, actually, I'm working on an Ivanka Trump impersonation. Oh, kill me. Do I? Uh -oh. <laughs> ah, it's coming. It's coming, and video's coming soon. I'm working on some other characters, an influencer character as well. I mean, all really preparing to go back on stage, and who knows when. Um, you can catch up with me the best way is on Lauren Logi, L O L O G I dot com. Okay. And there, like, you can join my email list. It's a, it's a great community of other like minded. Uh, weirdos and artists and people who don't quite fit the mold. <laughs> if that's you, you come to the right place. I make weirdest comedy for people who want something different. So um, that's at laurenlogi.com. I keep it simple all over social media. I am Lauren Logi. So you can find me in all the things. A really, I'm on Instagram the most. Um, would you could see lots of crazy videos over there, making people real mad and okay. not giving an F. 
but it's okay. really fun. I can't, I can't see you making anybody mad because I see this nice, energetic, fun person. So I don't see how anybody can be mad at you. Well, you know, it's like, it's, you know, I never know if it's a robot or a real person, but like I'll have a lot of robots tell me like I'm going to hell and all that stuff. Um, just to just tell me how terrible I am for saying something about Donald or saying something about a lot of different things. Like yeah. some, one of my characters, for instance, Estrella, um, she has a, a song about pills. She's a pill popping, like Upper East Side mom. She's like, oh okay. my God, you know, oh my God. I, um, I, I had a solution for parenting, pills. <laughs> and Valium, Amium, Percocet, Lithium, yeah. Oxycontin, Xanax, and Adderall. And she, anyway, she's like, whoops. She, she, she goes off about it. And um, like, you know, people get mad. You know, people just get like get yeah. touchy and sensitive. But yeah, yeah, there are people like that. But but I think like if you get it, if you get what I'm doing, you get me, like you love it and you you like something like adult swim, something that's irreverent yeah. and just says what it is without caring and you know, I do some on the street stuff. I go I go in the middle of the street and I'll have like a temper tantrum and film it and stuff. So like I do lots of like things like that which are more provocative okay. um, than my, some other stuff you might find and and um and it brings a really cool community of people around my Instagram. And that's what I, I really love, um, bringing people together who right. who don't feel like they fit the mold. And that's really satisfying. All right, that's what's up. Well, I'm glad you came. I had a great time with you. And I got I have to follow back up because I, I want to see Ivanka Trump as well. <laughs> yes, yes. And I got to come on and I got to bring my influencer character too, Candace Twyla. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to follow you and check you out and see what you're doing. And um, okay. how can they get in touch with you again? How can they check your video videos? Yep. Or? Lauren Logi, L-O-G-I dot com and at Lauren Logi on Instagram. OK, so I, I, I just learned how to pronounce your full name and you're only going to give them a piece of it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> when I first started going to job, I was like, wait, you know what? If I go on an interview and I'm like, Lauren Logi dot com, absolutely no one could be able to find me. <laughs> But make me suffer, though. I have to do the work now. Yeah, sorry, Andre. <laughs> All right. It was great having you. And Thank I'll you. I can touch with you, and uh, we'll keep this thing going. Okay, sounds great. Let's All right. Go. So Russian exercises, that's right. Mm -hmm. Stephen, right? And that is the only time you communicate with Russian. Only time. It's for this. Mm -hmm. The only time. Oh, right. Yeah. The absolutely only first Duh. time. Kick, kick back, we got you covered. You're getting the best music, news, and entertainment from the best show yet. Break out the lights, camera, action. You're on the set. This is Rock Town's finest inside connect. Kick back, we got you covered. You're getting the best music, news, and entertainment from the best show yet. Break out the lights, camera, action. You're on the set. This is Rock Town's finest inside connect.